Welcome to Fusion Fest 9 here in Cottbus, where I'm with uh, Peter Versys. Uh, for beginners, please tell me uh, something about your band. Yeah, hello, we are Bitter Versys. Uh, we are a five piece band and located in East Germany. And the band was formed in 2007, in the end of 2007. And we play our first concert in April 2008. Uh, my name is Caro. I'm the singer of the band. Yeah, I'm Alex. I'm a guitar player. Guitar player. I'm Phil. I'm playing bass, and I'm <laughs> I'm guitar quack. Yeah, uh, I'm Johannes, and I'm the drummer. Thanks. Okay, let's go a bit into your music. Uh, what are your influences, uh, first of all? Yeah, um, I would say that um, every uh, band member um, has a different um, music musicians or bands um, that influence our music. So um, when we come together and make music, it's not like we want to sound like this band or that band. Um, we are all connected in in our love for, I would say, heavy music from punk rock to rock to to heavy metal. So. Um, we started as a hardcore punk band, but uh, today I think everyone brings in uh, his his own ideas from from personal influence, and um, that's why some uh, songs sound more like punk rock. Maybe the next song sounds more like um, heavy metal song, or even yeah. Um, we also like to play sometimes um, guitar solos uh, because we also like a rock rock bands. So everyone brings in what, what he likes uh, personally in, in music. Yeah, I totally agree with Alex because uh, we are five people with five different tastes of music. And so we try to put all things together that everyone is cool with it. And yeah, look what came out. And therefore lyrics, I can say my inspirations are simply sad, the daily life. The anger I fear, the feelings I have. Yeah, and it's quite wild to put them into a song and have an outlet to vent all these feelings. Because um, often you're, you're feel powerless because so many things happen around you and can do anything. Uh, you can't change the fucking world into a better one or you can't change people's behavior at the moment and the anger keeps on. And so, yeah, when I'm on stage, I'm slamming into a better world. And I think that keeps up my inner balance, so. Okay, uh, a bit more to the lyrical side of uh, your music, because some of your stuff is uh, actually very political, like Lost Paradise, for yeah. example. So uh, how political are you exactly? And uh, what is the message of your band? Well, I won't say that Peter Versus is a political band. Of course, a lot of songs have a political content. But yeah, hopefully, I think it should be normal to be an anti-fascist. It should be normal to act humanly or have empathy or fighting against religion or culture-based um, tortures against women or minorities standing up for human rights and stuff like that. And I think many people have this anger and we as a band, we can put it into a song and yeah, simply said, use the music as a weapon. Okay, uh, you already said something about uh, your music. Uh, so it's not exactly hardcore anymore, yeah. as you put it, but um, how you see the state of hardcore music or harder music nowadays yeah it's, it's a quite a, a hard question I think to answer um, I asked myself okay what is hardcore what is uh, the scene um, I think many many people are listening to hardcore music and I can say this is hardcore this or this or this um, you have a lot of assholes in us of course <laughs> but you also have a lot of motivated people, a lot of uh, very political, active people, or people they just want to have fun. 
so I can say for myself, Harko should ever be a place for me where I feel comfortable, uh, a safe place, um, a good place where I have good conversation and I level with people I like and yeah, so it's quite hard to define it. And I can say we have a lot of uh, little groups in our area and it's quite hard to survive for them because on one hand a lot of young people are moving into big, big cities where the subculture is seen as alive 24 7 and on the other hand there are a lot of uh, governmental requirements they have to fight against and most of them are financed by themselves so it's quite hard to survive and it's just awesome that we have a group in here next to the Invictus crew, uh, the Moschgem Krebs crew from Zedlitz. <laughs> yeah, and they are organizing a festival every year and many shows in our area. Have you some words? About yeah, of course. He's also in the group, so. <laughs> Almost. Um I'm like a little bit of the mes mascot uh, every year because I'm drunk all the time and uh, doing stuff um, I can't actually remember. No, j it's uh, just a joke. But um, it's um, every year the same. Um, so we are trying to raise money for a good cause um, for the, um, um, I don't know the in uh, exact in English English term uh, for um, it's for child uh, cancer prevention. So we raise a lot of money uh, for Cottbus here in the Karl Team Klinikum. And um, for example, last year I think it was about something like uh, twenty five thousand euro. And uh, in 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 uh, the whole um, sum up for for the money, it was like uh, over one hundred thousand euro. So uh, just in I think seven years or something like this. And I think uh, it's I can't I can't describe it in uh, any kind of words um, for for them because it's if you if you know this little a little place it's called Zedlitz I I don't know maybe they live like uh, two thousand people yeah just two thousand people and the whole the whole uh, area is working together just for uh, for raising that amount of money every year and um, yeah it's unbelievable and I love them uh, I. I love uh, how they work. I, I love how they uh, be true to themselves and um, to this whole thing. And I think, uh, yeah, to the to the uh, question before, uh, what is the state of hardcore uh, nowadays? I think it's not uh, living in uh, in the bigger cities. It's uh, more active and more, uh, yeah, more. Yeah, like a scene in in, a, in a big, big uh, little cities uh, or. Um, yeah, smaller areas like in our place, so it's 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 more a kind of heart, yeah, uh, uh, or a piece of heart, and they put inside uh, than in other places. Yeah, for example, uh, you chose or anything. Yeah, support them. <laughs> okay, so uh, the scene here in Brandenburg uh, is it uh, like Berlin centric, or is it two different things, the like rest of Brandenburg and Berlin? How is it? Is it like two different things, or is it just one big scene in here? Uh, it's not. Yeah, I think uh, Brandenburg is. I would say uh, we play a lot of shows in in Saxony. Um, Brandenburg was uh, in the last maybe in the last twenty years um, there was there was a big scene like a straight edge scene. But um, the people got older and they moved away, um, and so it became um, sm more smaller. And um, I would say we are the last, uh, or, or um, not so many bands are in Brandenburg that play hardcore. Or yeah, so there's more a big scene in in the in the states around Brandenburg, like uh, Saxony or yeah, maybe uh, Thüringen, for example. There we play a lot. Um, so I think Berlin is um, is, is is far more away, uh, or is another scene. I would say um, um, for for themselves, yeah. I think uh, Brandenburg and Berlin is uh, are two different parts of um, of a scene. They don't uh, act together. Uh, for example, in uh, in Berlin, uh, you have a lot of um, different parts. 
like uh, Kreuzberg or, or Lichtenberg or anything. And um, they're doing like their own stuff. They um, actually don't work that much together. Of course they do, but um, not in the, in the whole uh, capital city of Berlin. It's just uh, small parts and small areas. So, and even in Brandenburg, it's just um, not that uh, a big of a kind of, uh, of big structure. It's um, sm uh, there are small uh, small scenes everywhere around, and I think it's uh, it's uh, yeah a little bit um, depressing because uh, as uh, Ali said, um, we're playing a lot of shows in Saxony, and uh, we noticed that the connection between the uh, different locations and scenes uh, are better, I think. And um, yeah, yeah in, in, in Brandenburg it's a little bit like, yeah, the people are sleeping <laughs> a lot of time. <laughs> okay, uh, you already mentioned uh, that band have difficulties also financial. But also venues have difficulties now, so um, what are your thoughts on uh, for example, clubs and squads being in trouble, and they, there's a lot of clubs closing and uh, gentrification in bigger cities. Uh, first of all, is it a problem in Brandenburg too? And uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, how I how said. It change? How I said, a lot of small uh, clubs have fighting against uh, governmental requirements and can't pay that, so. When you are down supporting them, they will close one day. And that's even very sad because it happened so much. Yeah, is there anything bands can, to, can do about this? Uh, except, you know, keep on doing what they do. Um, in, the, in the past, we played, a sh um, for example, a show in I think it was also in Saxony, and we played a lot of shows there. But then the club um, had to close, so there was this the last show we played there. So we are, we are very sad about this. So it's it's hard for uh, for a band if uh, the clubs close, we can't play in in clubs. So. We we can't we, we feel a little bit helpless because um, we also well we, we like to play in, show, uh, in cool clubs and um, yeah it's I think it's very um, difficult for us to to help uh, a venue um, to to yeah to support to, them to support them yeah because we can play so that people come and the venue stays open but when there are other um, yeah, maybe from from um, the city wants to close this club because uh, of problems or, or anything not else. Much money, so, so yeah, not enough money is there for maybe um, for the youth or youth activities. So it's it's hard for us to help. Um, yeah, so we feel a little bit helpless, of course. Yeah. Okay. So um, what are your thoughts then? Uh, for example. Uh, this got mentioned already about the fusion fest here and uh, how difficult it is to put something like this together and how well great it is to play here then. Yeah, of course. Uh, the fusion fest, I think, isn't the festival for us like others because Mori is a promoter of the festival and for us he's like the hardcore daddy. <laughs> he's, he's organizing shows for more than 25 years and uh, he, he and his crew, his crew uh, are supporting bands with his label for more than, for uh, I think since 1998, yeah. And of course we, our last album, Agony, was published by Invictus Crew Recordings and we are very grateful for being here and uh, for being a small part in this big family. So well, for today, hopefully we have a lot of fun, good conversation, meet friends, and we'll celebrate the more than 20 years existence of Invictus Crew recordings. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Uh, so how does the year 2020 look for Peter versus? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I think the main thing is uh, writing on your songs. We have almost two. But I think the hardest thing for us is keeping up this band thing. 
we have to be honest is uh, due to all these years almost more than 12 years um, of life changing of shift working or working on weekend it's quite hard for us to handle this dancing on a level where everyone is cool with it so um, yeah we have to find a compromise in the team um, that the band will not be uh, yeah bad to everyone so that everyone is cool with it and that we keep on it as a hobby as a big part of your life where you can free your mind and have fun of course so that's a big fight for us every year yeah, and and the problem is uh, also is that w uh, the distance between us uh, is is bigger because um, we also live in different cities now, and it's it's harder to practice and to to work on new songs. Um, in the past, when we were kids or we were in school, it was like we practice uh, two times a week, and so we were faster in writing songs. And now it's like um, very hard to keep up to write songs and to get a new album. So it's often to um, practice uh, the songs um, in a practicing room and then there are shows and it's not that much time to, to work on new stuff. So we work a lot at home, uh, try to write uh, songs in a structure or riffs and then uh, to uh, meet in the practicing room and to go on and work together on this uh, material. Yeah. I agree. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I truly hope you make it and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you too. Thank you for having us. Thank you, my friend. And thank you too. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> you have the camp. <laughs> Hi, mom.